Time for a reef update. Stay tuned. Hey YouTube, it's Brian and I'm coming at you in the month of April 2018. Gonna do an update on both reef tanks. Um, thought I would just real quick go through them both. Before I do that, if you are interested in purchasing any Southern Delight fish food, hit me up on the email in the uh, description below and I can get you set up. We do have food that's great for saltwater tanks as well as freshwater fish, so let me know. Let's get started here with the 125 gallon and uh, lots of new additions to both tanks, but especially this one. Um, I'll take you up close and uh, we'll kind of go through everything and go from there. All right, so we'll get started over here on the right side of the tank. Um, we recently had a, uh, I guess, semi-annual frag swap here in Minnesota, Twin Cities, uh, Twin Cities Marine Aquarium Society, I believe, TCMAS, and uh, picked up a lot of stuff, uh, probably walked out of there with uh, way more credit card debt than I had hoped, but it's worth it. There was a lot of space in this uh, tank that I needed to fill out, and I think I've got a good start on that. I've also picked up some new fish recently. Um, let's start by going through the fish, I guess. So a lot of times I forget about the fish, but uh, the clown, uh, the Wyoming white clowns are back in this tank now because they are being way too aggressive over in the cube. I've got one of these yellow chromis, uh, or not yellow chromis, uh, yellow wrasse, I forget. There's another name for them. I'm not sure if I had the purple tang on my last video, copper banded butterfly. Yet another naso tang. I've had some problems with naso tangs, but I've got another one in here doing well. Um, Christmas wrasse. There's a six line wrasse in here. Um, what else is new? There's the six line. Um, there is a coal tang somewhere. He likes to hide behind this rock structure a lot. Um, also known as the yellow eyed tang. Can't seem to find him right now. Maybe he'll come out though. Um, I've got a uh, diamond goby now to kind of work on the sand. There's a sand sifting star in there. And also, there he is. I got a, uh, a red star back there. So um, that's kind of the update on the uh, livestock. Um, let's just kind of go through. I got some more A cans down here from the frag swap picked up a Ghani from my local fish store. I'm not sure if that made the last video or not. Thinking about moving it over here in front of the green star polyps. You can see there's a lot more green star polyp. I took what was in the bio cube and moved it over here. It was just getting in the way in the bio cube. Uh, some of these, I guess they're trumpets. These, uh, they're a little bit brighter yellow than the other ones I've got. They haven't opened up quite as big, but I'm not sure that they're supposed to. Uh, the guy at the fish store didn't know a whole lot about them. Uh, picked up this octo spawn and then also another torch right here not quite digging the placement I may move those around uh, Really nice elegance coral. I had it closer to the front it, it gets a lot bigger than this But then I moved it towards the back and it's not as happy So I'm gonna when I move this Ghani, I think I'm gonna move um, the elegance up front a little closer uh, this frog spawn Sweet Ricordia mushroom here, this green one with three, you know, large one and two smaller ones. Um, this mushroom colony, this frog spawn. Uh, you'll remember that um, I had this leather, um, I had showed you that it had kind of looked like it was dead and then reopened. Just about a week ago it closed back up and now it's starting to reopen and you can see the polyps again. Um, I got this rock filled with the Zoas, that came from Frost, if you know who he is, he goes to a lot of the, he's a, he travels all around doing the frag swaps. Sunny D Zoa and this other green Zoa. Um, Zoas have been doing a lot better lately, um, I think I kind of figured out what's going on with those in this tank. Uh, honestly, um, I've heard from other people that sometimes Zoas and Acans don't do as well. 
when your tank is like too clean and I was doing weekly water changes and maybe a little bit too much so I've um, drawn that back now to every two weeks and things seem to be doing a lot better I forget the name of this but this thing is really nice it really adds to this section of the reef I think it just really makes a nice addition um, but yeah some of the other stuff I've had for a while that are doing great this trumpet uh, is really growing like crazy uh, leather up there is doing great a lot of growth on um, on the Montes um, I forget this green one but it's doing good the Duncan the, in this and the cube um, they're doing better but they're still not growing like I had hoped but uh, we'll get back to that at one point in the cube they were doing really great so I'm not worried um, just to kind of give you an overview of some of the other things here these red mushrooms are doing phenomenal same with the green ones down here this purple one over here the NEMS doing real good it's kind of moved itself a little bit more towards the back or I shouldn't say they have there's two of them the clowns are still hosting like crazy back there the old frog spawn the original frog spawns doing really nice too so that's kind of an overview of the 125 um, we'll go over here and take a look at the bio cube now sorry the doors are open I was monkeying down there before but uh, in the bio cube we've got some changes both in livestock or shouldn't say livestock everything's livestock but fish and coral um, I got another pistol for the goby he's working right around the corner right now goby thinks it's feeding time so that's why he's up front like I said I removed the Wyoming whites I've got one snowflake and one regular um, oscillaris clown left so they're both in there uh, there's one green chromis back there there should be a royal grama in here I can see him right by that six line in that little cave I don't know if you can catch him on camera and I uh, still got the firefish there's a six line um, yeah so we'll kind of go through the torch is still go doing pretty good um, one one head right in here you can kind of see it died but otherwise things are going good um, this hammer right here is new this frog spawn up here this hammer and this actually they're both hammers right there are brand new from the frag swap the Duncan over here is doing a lot better this leather is doing really good and then I got another frog spawn down here that's doing kind of okay it's just hasn't really opened like I had hoped some days are better than others came from my local fish store I've got this green I think it's an anemone of some sort at one time I had a green anemone that never really seemed to thrive and I just thought it was gone and all of a sudden this appeared here and then there's another one around the corner that sometimes is out can't see it now so I'm kind of keeping my eye on that um, really got a lot of nice tabling going on up here with the red Monty um, this leather up here is doing great the coral next to it I always forget what that's called and the green encrusting one in the backs doing good uh, my NEMS there's three NEMS total in here, and ever since I removed the original clownfish and put them over in the other tank, I disturbed them a lot when I was trying to catch the clowns, but I'm not sure why they have not opened back up, unless it's just because the clowns aren't there. Um, but there's one, two, actually there's four total, I think, in here. There's another one down under here. I'm not sure if I can get the camera to see it. It's in between that hammer and that. And then the other one's over here. Anyone have any advice on getting those babies to open back up? I'd really appreciate it. A couple of Recordias over here. A couple of Acans. All new. Um, added some cleaner shrimp, or a cleaner shrimp, and a red, fire red over here. And another Recordia, which I can't find anymore, um, took a walk off of its uh, um, frag plug and went back over here, and I'm not sure where it ended up, but anyway. So 
so yeah that's basically it um, let me know if you know what what this green guy is I'm not sure if it's a, a nem of some sort or if it's a piece of some sort of euphelia that I used to have maybe that uh, is just for whatever reason coming coming out now that I'm looking at it you know the, the way the tips look I think it is a euphelia of some sort but there's nothing in the tank that looks like it really so it's kind of odd oh and some zoas that I picked up at the uh, frag swap there's one little colony there one right here that hasn't been doing real well and then this orange colony back here is one that I already had and it's doing fairly good so so yeah that's basically it for this update I'll give you one more look at the uh, 125 before we uh, end the video um, I really appreciate everybody that follows these uh, follows my channel and watches these videos I get uh, and I've said this before I get quite a lot more views on my freshwater stuff but um, I, I really think that people that are into reefing would be interested in taking a look at some of my tanks so um, please share this in different groups or whatever um, to get people more interested in checking out my reefing videos but uh, I do appreciate all you that watch these videos whether it be the saltwater the shrimp or the fish room tours where I kind of highlight my cichlids more than anything here's my watchman I really like these mushrooms too but until next time thanks for subscribing thanks for watching um, if you are new to this channel make sure you do hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell next to it so that you're notified every time I put up videos and uh, until the next one take care